Hey guys, what's up? This is Starcatcher125. Thank you for clicking on that video link. Hopefully you'll also click on like, favor, and subscribe. Welcome back to another episode of Terraria. Uh, when we last left off, we had destroyed, we kind of beat up the world, uh, Eater of Worlds, a little bit. Um, and then I wasn't really sure what to do next, and I was going to do a little bit of Elevator this episode, but what I went ahead and did um, is I actually went and I started on the Elevator. Um, so I just want to show you a couple things that I got. So, uh, but it looks like we're going to be doing that first. So I got a Hurtful Chain Knife as a drop from a bat, and I also got a Spiked Depth Meter from the, a drop from a bat, and I think those are both rare drops or something. I got a couple of other things, but I am going to have to quick stack some of this stuff and sell stuff like this and this because there's a goblin arm army coming and I don't want to lose any of my stuff so we're gonna try to do this as fast as possible and I'm actually really scared okay the goblin arm goblin army is here and quick stack and oh god oh god oh god here we go um, okay so yeah this is the this is the knife that I got actually I might be all right right here and I could just... Oh, okay, Dolgan was slain. Alright, lovely. Ouch. No. Stop. No, stop. Alright, so this is kinda like a... This is kinda like a boss, I guess. Kinda. Um, go away. Thank you. You're dead. Die, 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 I need these spike balls to be, uh, right here. So I can throw these everywhere, uh, and they'll, they'll do damage. Just stuff. Are there right there? Oh, there's three. Well, that would be why. I'm going to end up dying here in a second. Yep, I died. Okay. Okay, well, and I'm gonna go outside, and that is a Goblin Warrior banner. That's cool. Don't hurt the nerds! Oh no, get out of my house. Come on. Don't be like that. Okay, we gotta get rid of all these archers right here. Because these guys are what are going to be the bane of our existence. Dodgy McDodge face. So I'm just gonna throw these guys down. They will do a lot of damage. And make it to where stuff can't go anywhere. Like they are right now. They're incredibly useful, and you can you can sell them, but at the same time, like there's no need to. Also, I need to pull out my clicker a little bit because it feels a little frayed. Feels like it's getting stuck a little bit. 
Alright. So now that we have all those laid out... So yeah, after the Goblin Army, we'll... we'll oh, crap. Uh, after the Goblin Army, we'll most likely go and check out the elevator that I have started. Um, I think it's over to the right, so... The Goblin Army has been defeated, so let's just finish off these last couple of guys. Awesome. I think there might be some guys over here. Let's see. No? Okay. Alright, so yeah, that was the Goblin Army. Um, let's see, did we get anything fancy? We got a Harpoon, uh, which has 28 ranged damage. Which is nice. Um, which, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep that, and I'm gonna get rid of the. I think I'm gonna get rid of the snowball cannon, because I mean this can't go. This can't go as far as the snowball cannon, but it's still really nice. Um, all right, so yeah, we've got got a little bit of stuff, and I mean we did get two gold from that. We also got a goblin banner, and I'm just gonna hang that in here because I don't care. <laughs> um, Hello, Mario. How are you doing? Let's sell this guy. Um, we also have some statues we need to put outside that I also got from the elevator. Whew, what a way to start off an episode. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, how, how did that episode start? Oh, he went against a freaking goblin army? Oh, well. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and throw this guy in here. Also got a suspicious looking eye um, from underground. I, or maybe that was in a previous episode. I think that was from the elevator. Um, but yeah, so that was also a thing. Oh, and then also like, look at how much damage I can do. Oh yeah, this is one of those items that we can do a lot of damage to the Eater of Worlds. Um, so that is something that I might be able to do this episode. Ooh, man, getting some lag with my my mouse. That's weird. Or just with the cursor in general. Uh, I think we'll just place that right there. That works. All right. So, um, why did those blocks not go in the block chest? I thought I tried to put them in already. Oh, there we go. Um, let's see here. What else? So yeah, uh, let's let's go ahead and go check out the ele uh, elevator uh, and show you what I have so far. It's nowhere near done, um, of course, but uh, but yeah, yeah. Here it is. All right, and then do we have we have I think we have those claw things. That, yeah, okay. So. Yeah, like, the first major thing I really ran into was this. Uh, it's a little underground mushroom fortress thing. And there's a trap right over there. I don't want to get rid of it. Alright. Get rid of you. Right. Lots of glowing mushrooms. That's always nice. Get it? Nice. Ooh, what is that? Some type of heart reach potion. Increases pickup range for light hearts. After we're doing this, I think we're gonna go and try to defeat the wall of flesh. Or not the wall of flesh. That's way later. We are not ready for that at all. Um, but the, uh, but the, um, other thing, definitely the Eater of Worlds. I really think that we can do that. And I don't know why th this is... I don't know if you guys can tell, but my cursor's kind of jumping around a little bit, and I don't know why it's doing that, but it's making it incredibly annoying to mine. Oh, that is 
water. Why is it? That's weird. Don't know why the water's doing that. Oh, my side's itching. Alright. So, let's keep going down in the elevator. Sorry, my, my nose is itching. Hello, stuff. So yeah, we'll just keep going down. Oh, and that is as far as I have gotten. I'm just gonna throw that down. Yeah, so I guess I haven't really actually gotten all that far. Um, let's see what happens when I throw a gold stick down. Okay, well, lots of empty. Um, so let's go ahead and go back up to the surface. Um, and I think what we're gonna do... Oh wait, I can just go like this. I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go against the uh, Eater of Worlds again, and I because I think we might be able to actually defeat him, uh, especially if we play our cards right. All right. Yeah, we got time. We got time, man. Come on, don't worry about it. All right, hippity hap, hippy hap. I still wish we had a second. Uh, jump, but oh well. Oh, oh, oh! No, will you please just? I'll just do this. Uh, da, da, da. And we'll even use this heart re reach potion. We'll see if we have any other potions that we can use as well. But um, silver. Ooh, we might be able to make some silver armor real quick, actually. Oh yeah, we're making some silver armor because it's going to be better. Um, we might be able to make a little bit of gold armor, too, since we are past, we don't need to use the gold for anything else, really. Um, so we've got 45, we've got, ooh, I could make an, I could make a gold chest plate, which is 5 defense versus 3. I'm gonna do that. And then we can make a, we can make silver greaves. And we can make a silver helmet. And that brings us from having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 14 defense, plus the defense I get from that, the uh, two, plus 2 defense I get from that, and yeah, so that's all hunky-dory. Um, let's go ahead and go sell the old armor, because that's usually what that does. And then we can, uh, come here, Gilbert. My name's Gilbert! No value. Okay. Well, um, maybe we'll just maybe we'll just throw this stuff in here, and I'll make I'll make armor stands for it later. I don't know. Um, we also got some more of those mushrooms. Those mushrooms. Um, we should see if we have anything else in this chest that we can use. Shine potion, recall potion, night owl potion, feather fall, invisibility. Grants invisibility? I don't think that's going to help us in any way, shape, or form. Um, I know one thing we can do is we can take one of these, throw it on a table like this, boop, and we can make an alchemy table, which we can then take these, and then we can make these with the two healing potions and one of these, and it'll give me a hundred instead of fifty, which is really nice. Instead of me accidentally drinking a fifty potion instead of a hundred potion, for instance, because that's happened before with me and it pisses me off. Um, it probably happened when I was fighting the the World Eater the first time, or the Eater of Worlds, World Eater, same thing. You guys know what I mean. Um, but that's probably what happened before. Uh, with that, and that's probably why I didn't regain as much HP for whatever reason. Man, this, 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 like, lag I'm getting from this is really annoying. Um, let's go ahead and put the silver away, and that away, and let's go and fight the thing. The thing that I'm gonna fight. Can I just hit it? Or thank you. I knew what I was trying to do. Oop. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. And you 
boobadaboo. Yeah, I'm really actually uh, kind of excited. So, from when this video goes up, um, it would have been the day before. So, this video is going up the day after I've recorded it. Um, and the next, like, probably two videos will also be um, recorded right, uh, in the same day. Uh, but, as for, like, when stuff was recorded, so... This is going to be going up the day after I record it. This episode will. Um, so the day before that, so two days before this video go, uh, goes up, went up, or goes up, uh, I did a lot of research on computers and stuff like that. I built a really awesome computer that I'm super proud of, and I, now I'm just waiting for my tax returns to come in. And they're going to be coming in in maybe like the next like week and a half to two weeks, and I'm just like, ah! So much epicosity is happening because because I'm going to be able to play like Terraria, for instance, at like full everything. I'm just gonna go down right here. Um, I, I'm gonna be able to play it at like full everything, and it's not gonna lag like at all, and it's gonna be amazing. Why did that happen? Ugh, this is not good. No, this is not what I want. Uh, get out of here. That's the one thing is that if you miss with this thing, you're you're get you're gonna get wrecked. Um, so we need we need a, another orb. That's what we need. And did we destroy all of them here? No, because I thought. Uh, Oh, get wrecked! Okay, there's one right there. Um, I only have two things that- Oh, wait, we can mine through all this, so... It's just gonna take a really long time. You know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna build a little tunnel. And I'm just gonna throw this dynamite as far as it will go. Alright. So, we've got those. We don't really need that. Um, and... Boom! Destroyed. Alright. And let's place a torch, because it is dark. And my, thing, my stuff is lagging out, and I don't know why. And I can't mine that, because it is... Ah, uh, it has a thing on it. <sighs> ow, 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 ow. That's not good. Alright, we're just gonna mine over there for this one. Where are we at? That? Oh, God. This, uh, this episode might run a little long. Um, so I wanna, I wanna do this boss. But it's just taking forever because this pickaxe. And also because I'm lagging for some reason. I think it might be because I set uh, Terraria to a Hapaorita. Um which I usually don't. I usually set it at a, uh, above normal only, which is making it to where my, uh, it's reading my mouse. When my mouse moves faster, it reads it, um, that it's, you know, it's like having trouble reading where it's going. All right. Screams echo around you. What is that? A hasty musket. All right, well, great. Um, that did not spawn him, and looks like we're probably gonna have to find. We're gonna have to find another altar or a little orb somewhere else, or something like that. Dang it! Because um, I really don't think there are any other ones in here. I'm trying to look on my map while also trying not to get hit by these stupid things. Yeah, that's all of them here, so we're going to have to find uh, more Corrupt, which I'm going to actually do on the next episode. Uh, but then when we do, we will go against the Eater of Worlds, and we will see how much damage we can deal to him. I'm going to take this dynamite and put it in there just in case. But anyway, uh, so in the next video, I'm going to I'm just going to jump cut to where the next video is going to start in a new Corrupt area here, because I think there, there's like two that spawn. And... Uh, 
Maybe we'll go to the left and find one, and uh, we'll destroy some of the orbs there. I think we only need to destroy one more, and then we can go against the Eater of Worlds again, and hopefully this time we can conquer him. Meteorite has landed. It says that. You can't see it because it's behind my little face cam thing. And yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a rating. It's much appreciated. Make sure to share the video with as many people as possible. It helps out a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.